When I was around twenty-one years of age, I went to my elder brother, who is older than me for about twelve years, and announced to him that I wanted to stop my parents from giving me money, because I was still in school and living in a country where people still blame their parents for their woes even at age thirty-five. My decision was stupid, but I didn't just come to that decision. That decision was a result of four years of study into the lives of successful people. It all started when I was around seventeen. I started studying books about success and successful people, and the more I read, the more I see clearly that people who become successful get to a point when they take responsibility for their lives, while people who fail in life usually wait for someone else to fix their lives. So I decided that I would no longer wait or expect anybody or external forces to help my life becoming what I think it should be. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the one single thing that can destroy your life faster than anything else. And if you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Here's the thing: the fastest way for anyone to destroy his or her life is to wait for someone else to fix it for him or her. And that's what everyone does. Almost every day, when I meet people, I hear a statement like, "The government is bad. Nobody helps me. The economy is not favorable," and so on. Some people say my employer doesn't pay me enough. The corporate people are evil, etc. The problem with these complaints is that they are genuine. Another problem with these complaints is that well, they never help anyone. Take for instance. If you tell me that the government is bad and that's why you're poor, well, that's very much likely to be correct. I am a Nigerian, and I can tell you what it means to have a corrupt government because I've had them all my life. If you tell me that the reason why you're poor is that your parents were poor and couldn't give you a good start in life, I know how that feels because I was born in a village by a poor cocoa farmer. If you tell me that the reason why you're poor is that you spend much time with some disease and sickness. I know about that too, because I suffered rheumatism for the first 17 years of my life. But guess what? Complaining about how disadvantaged you are doesn't change anything. Your complaint will not change the government. Your complaint will not change the economy, and it can't even change your past. The only thing your complaint will do is to destroy your life, because this is how it sounds. Imagine some armed robbers stormed your home by 3 a.m. They steal everything you have and rape your 17-year-old daughter. What would you do? Would you rather take your child to the hospital or run after the armed robber to come and do it? Most of us would rather take care of our daughter than to want evil thieves to come and do it. That 17-year-old girl is your life, and those armed robbers are whoever you think is responsible for your failures. Here's the thing: whoever is evil enough to rape your daughter. Is never going to have the heart to take her to the hospital. Whoever is evil enough to cause you pains will never have the heart to heal your pains. Whoever is bad enough to make you poor can never have what it takes to make you rich. So there's no point complaining or waiting for them. Most governments in the world are dumb and deceptive. If you think they are the reason for your poverty, then I have good news for you. They are, but they can't help you either. If you think that your lack of education, age, or whatever is the reason for your poverty, I have good news for you. You're probably right, but you know what? Complaining and making excuses will not change anything about your life. The easiest way to destroy your life is to wait for those situations to be reversed, because they may never be reversed. Live like animals. Scientists say that we are animals. Evolutionists say. That we evolved from apes or something. Well, I'm too dumb to understand how that happened, but I know something very surely, and that is, if truly we're animals, then we're the weakest animal. The reason why I said this is simple: every animal is independent. Birds don't depend on their parents. Fish don't have any government to provide for them, and ants don't have an economy. In the world of animals, your life depends on yourself. In the kingdom of animals, you have to wake up each day to fight for whatever you think you deserve. Live your life like an animal. Live your life with an absolute sense of responsibility. Let your life's motto be, "If it will be, it's up to me," because that's the truth. If it will be, it's up to you. If you'll be rich, it's up to you.
If you will be successful, it's up to you. If you will achieve your dreams, it is up to you. When I say that you should live like animals, I do not mean that you should alienate everyone from your life. No, instead I mean that you should expect more from yourself than you expect from anyone in the world. You can and should seek people's help and partnership, but never expect them to be your messiah. You can and should expect something from your employer, but never expect him to understand your pains, because nobody does. In the real sense of life, you're the only person who understands your pain. Yes, your employer can pretend as though he does and the government can promise that they will solve your problems, but nobody actually can understand your pains. And that's why nobody should expect to fix your life. I don't know if this video makes sense to you, but this is what I've discovered about life. If as a young person you expect other people to be responsible for your life, you will destroy your life very quickly. It's your life and it's your responsibility. Read, learn, study and act. Be courageous and fight towards your dream. Take charge and take responsibility. Thank you so much for watching our videos and don't forget to subscribe and watch other videos from our channel. We love you.